What's up YouTube, this is Keegan with Keegan Lanier Media and today we're gonna show you how to add a progress bar to your blog post inside of Divi using Worth the Read, a great plugin. We're gonna show you everything in the video. Let's get to it. Right, so we're here in the back end. As you know, the way we start all these videos, I wanna show you the versions of what we're using. WordPress is 5.4.2. Divi, we're gonna jump over into the themes and we'll show you the version we're using of Divi as well. So we'll click here and we've got version 4.5.0 as of July, 2020. Let me pull up the front end and I'm gonna go into the blog post. We've got a custom header that I built. Um, you see it in different tutorials. Specifically, this one's for the using anchor links. We'll link that video up if you're used, if you're you want to learn how to use anchors to click here and go down to different parts of the site or to add it to your nav bar where you can go back to the top um, that video is going to be linked up with the card above but you know in this video we're going to to add that progress bar that scrolls across the top as you scroll through a blog post so we're going to go into the blog and we'll open up one of the blog posts so these are just temporary like they're just placeholder text um, placeholder posts so that we can see the examples so you can see you know there's a good bit you scroll down a pretty good ways what we're going to add is a little bar that scrolls across the top as we scroll down it's just a visual indication showing you know how far along you are how much you got left to read in the blog post and it's really 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 easy so we're going to go back into the back end under plugins we're going to select add new and we're going to pull this plugin called worth the read directly from the wordpress repository worth the read and it looks like this it's by well done marketing we're going to install it and now we're going to go and activate the plugin so now everything is in place right we've got this progress bar we can go down to worth the read and reading progress is specifically what we want to use the time commitment is where you can put in how long it's going to take and you can use that in the blog post as well but here we're going to uh, just use this reading progress and we're going to make sure that it shows up on all of our posts we're not going to use it for custom post types and we're going to put it at the very top so the progress bar you can set offset handy for fixed headers and menus that you don't want covered this one is actually okay in this le in this layout uh, as you can see we, we do have a fixed header but i actually kind of want it above it i want it to go right at the very top of the page so i'm going to do that and we're going to leave it basically just like it is and we'll hit save here and that's all we're going to do so far so let's go into the front end we're going to refresh the page and there may be a few things. So this, this fixed bar is set to a Z index of 500. So I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So it will, it will show up over the top of it automatically, which is great, right? So this is almost exactly what I want right out of the gate. It's over the fixed header. It stays on the top of the page. It scrolls down as you go. Now, one other thing I do want to change is the style so we're going to go from functionality and reading progress down to style and you can change the thickness you know so if we wanted it to be you know just three we could do that the background we can make it completely transparent if you want and then i'm going to change this to the color that we use for our styles and let's just hit save and see the difference I'll refresh this blog post and so now as we're in this blog post and we start scrolling, see, as we scroll, it's got that blue color. And then when we pause, it transitions to a different color. And now it's got the blue again, but there's, it's too, it's too opaque. So I want to make the color completely non-transparent. Now the muted color, you know, muted foreground that I think we could leave as our regular color so this will make a pretty cool effect like this will have a hundred percent opacity whenever it's moving and then as we stop it's going to fade away to half transparency which i think will give a very cool effect something extremely simple to pull off but really effective and, and good for the user experience so this is refresh let's go ahead and start scrolling you can see the blue color and then as we stop it just kind of fades away and you can make it so that this fades away completely it just goes away you know, if we wanted to, we can make this less transparent. You could go to zero or we can go to 25%. Let's try 25%. Refresh this front page. And as we scroll, you know, we've got 100%. And as we stop, it almost fades away completely. So this is cool. 
This is a great visual indication for a user how far they are through your post, how much they have left to read. I think it works out very well. It's a great touch. It, it shows your attention to detail whenever you're building sites. And it's just, it's something nice, you know, I'm halfway through my post. I am, you know, three quarters of the way through the post. It's just a good visual indication. If I'm almost to the end and I'm thinking I might give up, I'm just gonna push through. So it'll also help keep people on your page, um, keep people engaged with your content. So. Again, as always, truly hope that this brings you some value. Hope this is a platform or a plugin that you can add to your platform to make your user experience that much better. And this is all about the details of blogging. It's all about keeping people on your page longer. So go ahead and implement it. Drop in the comments below a link to a site that you've built where you've implemented this. I'd love to see them. As always, I want to check them out. So if you really like this, if you really like what we're doing here, consider giving us a subscribe, you know, hit the subscribe button, come back for all the videos, turn on the bells, do all the things that YouTube loves. You know what they are. You hear all the time. So, you know, do those things, come back, get the tips, get the tricks, be the first person to know as soon as a new video drops. So we appreciate you very, very much. We hope you go out there. Uh, chase that life that you really want. Learn the skills to make your life yours. Take control of it. And uh, yeah, stay safe. Do your thing. We'll see you in the very next video. Thanks as always for being here. See you soon.